The cursed ghosts of New Londo are formidable foes. To face them, you will require special arms or a cursed body. The quickest way to be cursed? Try the bug-eyed lizards in the sewer. Desperate measures, to be sure. is a surprise. I don't get many visitors, except for ghosts. Do you have some business here? My name is Ingward. I'm an old man, bound to these parts, but I don't mind a chat. I may even be of some help. I am the guardian of the seal. I watch over the four kings, the masters of the dark ring. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man, and any living thing that has a soul. They were born in New Londo, and that is where they perished. The entire city was sacrificed to contain them, for that is how great a threat they were. New Londo was sacrificed to contain the dark wraiths. Mark my words. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. 
You have the Lord Vessel. It's very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss, if you can find him, and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible.
the... That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. How's about... You leave that ember with me. I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done, you shall see.
Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Kaf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still and trust thine flesh to me. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Gravelord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. Are you ready? Then let us return to the Abyss, and trust thine flesh to me. Ah, if you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. They failed me, every last one of them. They were strong, but saw not the truth. I am certain that you will prove different. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only Dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other serpent, Frampt, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Magnificent. You defeated the four kings. Impressive even for a bearer of the Lord Vessel. And with this, 
My purpose is exhausted. I have not seen the sun for a long time. Perhaps I could do with a change. Oh, hello. The sunlight made me wince. And now I've come back to this dark hole. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. Remember you have there. I've only heard legends of such specimens. The embers used for the secret rites of divine blacksmiths. Perhaps you could lend it to me. I've long dreamed of forging divine weapons. Ah, splendid. Splendid. Thank you. Andre Evastora never disappoints. I assure you.
Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? No? No. Really? Really? Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. Have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> Where's the issue? What's your problem? Take a peep in the hole and check out that treasure. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Oh, for heaven's sake, let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive. I said I'm sorry. Wait, I know. Here, take this. It proves something, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's you. You rescued Milady. Well, a pity that is, for it will amount to nothing, for the little madam is not worth her salt without her family name. <laughs>
we meet again. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I, at a special price for you. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Well, welcome to Trusty Patch's Trove of Treasures. We chop prices, not limbs. Right. Good stuff, eh? Don't you forget who got it for you. <laughs> Wait, have you met Petrus? That self-proclaimed cleric. Believe me on this one, my love. The man is scum. Don't you be fooled by his claims to do good. They're all the same, those rotten clerics. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted, for it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoroughland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. Vince and Nico were fooled by a lout named Hatches and turned into hollows. My prayers did them no good. It is my ignorance, my frailty that has sealed their fates. Perhaps Petrus realized my weakness all along and thus made the decision to abandon me. I can hardly blame him now. Would a miracle be of any help to you? I would be most pleased if that were so. May we discuss miracles then? Then be safe. Farewell, Varianox. Have you met Lautrec the Embraced? Believe me on this one, my love. He's completely mad. He wouldn't think twice about cutting somebody down. So watch out for him. Especially if you've humanity to spare. Yeah, have you met that sunbathing Solaire? Believe me on this one, my love. He's a complete idiot. But he happens to be an awfully strong idiot. So just nod your head and keep him on your side. <laughs> Here, have you met that backwoods Shiva? Believe me on this one, my love. A man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. Hm. No doubt about it. Watch him. Have you heard of Seath the Scaleless? In legend, he turned against the ancient dragons. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, and was allowed to pursue his research. 
at the Regal Archives, he immersed himself in research on scales of immortality, the one thing that he did not have. 